Earth Day is getting closer and closer. Landscape crews at Michigan State University want to take the term go green to the next level on their very first ever community Red Cedar River cleanup. And as McCoy Scribner found out, they weren't surprised at what they fished out. Right, McCoy? Yeah, Sherry, if you remember the story 6 News brought you last summer, more than 100 electric scooters were, poured, were pulled from the river. Well, today, staff pulled at least 10 bicycles and say they're sure there's much more to be found. We find a lot of bikes, um, a lot of scooters, bike racks, and a lot of like boards, um, traffic cones, traffic barrels. On the banks of the Red Cedar, people got their hands dirty, some more than others. <laughs> Whether in the river or nearby, MSU Landscape Services Manager Matt Bailey says his team came ready. So we've got all of our staff, about 100 individuals, um, that we're going to focus on cleaning up the Red Cedar River today. This included magnet fishing, picking up litter, removing invasive species, and protecting campus pollinator gardens. It's really just an, an outreach event to try and engage the community to come onto campus and, and kind of show what we do, and then just uh, the river. You know, it's a resource. It runs through the middle of campus, um, exposing it, showing best practices, and, and uh, really just kind of getting together. While staff typically does this periodically, this time community members were able to join in. I've picked up, I don't know, maybe 15 pieces of very small garbage, like this thing right here. They add who knew that getting down and dirty would bring so many people together. It's really exciting to see the people come together. I, you know, I was surprised to see how many people um, are here um, and it's really, you know, energizing and uh, it, it kind of goes to show kind of how much people appreciate the river. And for Bailey, he says because today was such a big hit, they've already planned a second cleanup event. We're going to do this twice annually later in September um, as well. Now you're probably wondering what happens to these bikes that are pulled out. Well, officials tell me if they're in good condition, they'll be held for about a year if an owner comes forward. If not, they'll be cleaned and transferred to MSU Surplus Store and Recycling Center. Back to you. Thanks, McCoy. Interesting stuff. Well, April is when the planet does come together to celebrate Earth Day. But we here at 6 News have something special planned, and that will last more than just 24 hours, and we're calling April Earth Month. And we're celebrating with in-depth stories by our weather team every Monday and by our news team every Thursday about different aspects of weather and climate. So be sure to tune in on Mondays and Thursdays all month long for Earth Month. It's just one more way that 6 News is here for you.